Well, there it is, everybody. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. Brett Fuller trying to make his way around. <laughs> coach 1347, the latest from Marathon Coach, right there in the display stall here at the Mothership in Coburg. Good morning. Let me take my mask off so you can see what I'm saying. Hope everyone had a good weekend. This is, uh, this is the reveal for Coach 1347. Really excited about this because this is a beautiful H3 double slide. Uh, a lot of people have looked at this coach just over the last couple of days, and it's, it's kind of the talk of the building right now. Uh, a big thank you to Santara Perkins from our design team who designed it and is letting us take a tour on it this morning. Uh, I got to tell you, I really love this coach, and what really brought it all together for me is Santara's decor and design. Uh, there were a few things that I was kind of like, man, I'm not so, so sure. And then when everything came together, it it's just really stands out and it's really beautiful. If you go to Marathon's, uh, Abigail, what's that going to be? Instagram or uh, Facebook page? Where, where are we going to see additional photos of it today? Because I know uh, she'll probably post some pictures today. But I'm really excited. So let's go take a look at 1347. This exterior is uh, really classy. I had the, uh, the owners of 1285, uh, the new owners of 1285, I should say, look at this uh, coach and uh, they were blown away with how classy and, and elegant this coach is. I love the exterior. Uh, it doesn't have all the white that I usually like, but it really stands out as being a real classy coach. Of course, being an H3, you're gonna have massive storage. Stick with us throughout this uh, tour because we're going to hit some good storage. Look at everything inside this floor plan. This is what's amazing about the H3. It has massive storage. And here's the thing, you guys. You see there's no slide outs. There's no barbecues. There's no refrigerators. This coach is for sale. So if you're looking to get into a coach, if you're looking to trade in, Email me, malw, M-A-L-W, at marathoncoach.com. I can help you through that. But we don't put slide outs and barbecues and refrigerators and what have yous in the bays, bay one and bay two of the H3, until it sells because you might not want that. You might want a barbecue, you might not want that. You might just want massive storage. All right, let's go inside. As you're walking in, take a look. I call it the stair backsplash. But look at those risers. Beautiful tile. You're going to see those tiles in this coach in one more place. And it might be my favorite feature of this coach later, and I'll show you that. But let's head on in. Take a look at this cockpit as you walk in. completely leather wrapped cockpit. We've got the TVs down so you can see the TVs in this one. 360 cameras, heated floors, just a beautiful, beautiful coach. So here I am, this new ceiling, uh, it's, I say new because it's only been out maybe a year. Uh, one of my favorite features of our H3s. I love, I love the backlit feature. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can dim it down. Uh, let me see here. There it is off, there it is on. So you can dim it down also. Uh, before John steps up in here, let's take a look at the curbside of 1347. Look at these beautiful chairs, but I don't wanna miss these pillows. Take a look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Well done, Santar. It's just really, really nice touches that really brings this whole coach together. Uh, the TV that goes behind the fireplace. Notice how that turned off. I guess I got to hold it right. Let's put it all the way down. Really nice. And then it's got a little storage spot right here for a few things if you need to put it in there. 
Anyway, take a look at, the, at this area rug. This area rug is really, really cool, and it goes so well with the decor of this coach. Don't normally show a lot of decor, but that's what really ties this coach together. And also, it illustrates to me and to you out there, from marathon owners to future marathon owners to former owners, or to people that are researching uh, bus conversions, marathon, Prevo, uh, these, the, the details, meaning the decor, is so important in a coach. It's not something to be overlooked. The decor is so important in a coach. It adds to the floor plan. It adds to your experience. And I love how this goes with the carpet. Very, very cool. Um, countertops in here, very squared off. One thing I do want to show you is I like how Marathon is doing the lip. The lip around the entire countertop. So if there's any water spillage, it stays within the countertop and it doesn't go off onto your flooring. Gosh, this is really pretty too, isn't it? And, and of course, the Corian finished sink. John, you want to get a real good close-up of that and look at how it just continues from the countertop into the sink. That's something else. This coach is headed down to Indio. So if you're gonna be down in Indio, come and see me and, and we'll talk about uh, taking you on a tour through it. Uh, the dinette, this is the extending dinette. There's a button over there. You hold that button down and this entire, well, let's do it. We got the time. You can also show uh, one of the cool things about um, our new floor plans is there's not curios on the sides. So you got all this natural light. Right now we've got the shades down and I'm not gonna mess with that because I really think it looks good. The color of the shades and the valances and the styles. I'm gonna extend that out so you can see that with the push of a button, you've got additional seating at this L-shaped dinette. And of course, you've got more uh, space for more people here because it's uh, it's squared off, it's not, it's not uh, Shape. We, we do do a couple of different shapes when it comes to our dinette tables, but you see how that extended out? It's really, really cool. I'm going to push that guy back in. Jack knifing sofa over here on the driver's side. These pillows are pretty too. Lots of details in this coach. I like all the poles. Look at the drawer poles. The drawer poles match all the hardware in this coach even down to the drain inside that sink i think you saw that earlier but the drawer poles are really nice microwave oven convection oven above the above the galley goes behind cabinetry to give it a nice finished look there's those beautiful drawers we've talked about lately um, on marathon mondays there's several of them there Looks like seven or eight of them. Fisher Paykel refrigerator freezer, also behind cabinetry. This is a really nice finished, um, this laminate is really nice because it's not glossy and it's not gonna show fingerprints. At least I hope not because I'm touching it. Okay, so in this floor plan, I like that guy, he's looking at me. So I, in this floor plan, it's got a bath and a half. And you're gonna see in every marathon coach, it's always gonna have a bath and a half at this point, you guys. Uh, it's what the customers are demanding. So this doesn't really look like it's anything until you open it. I'm gonna open it and let John explore. And I'm gonna close myself off. That's a nice half bath right there. That's the half bath. And as we walk into the, uh, into the center of the, co of the coach, I'm gonna take you through the features here on the driver's side because there's a lot that's going on here. John is standing right now by the half bath. And right here, you've got a full closet. You've got a full closet with hanger bar. You got the Blu-ray um, DVD player also integrated there into the cabinetry. And you've got two large drawers. 
That's also where your rear slide out mechanism is controlled. Now, if, if John backs up, I close this off, I hit this button, and there's your washer dryer, full size washer dryer. Isn't that cool? Here we are uh, in the bedroom. This is where the whole coach came together for me. Take a look at the finishings in this bedroom. Just take a look at that bed. That bedspread really did the job. The bed is all the way down. As you know, it articulates all the way, to, all the way up, but I wanted to have it down and show you how this bed, how beautiful this bedroom is. Great storage above the bed. Lots of room. Shoes, sweaters, shirts, even linens if you got a lot of them. Okay, take a look at this. These are fully adjustable and there's a lot of them. Not only up here, but below. You've got lots and lots of shelving. Look at that. Much more shelving all fully adjustable. These come out and you can adjust them so if you need ones with larger space or, sh or smaller space. There's more. You got six drawers right across from the bed, right underneath the uh, TV. There's a large drawer underneath the bed. We don't have to show that. But just when you think it's all over, this door closes off over that storage and it reveals a four foot hanger bar and a little bit of storage over here. And this is, this by no means is a small closet. I mean, it's small, but it's not tiny and you're, it's able, it's good storage. So lots and lots of room in this H3 floor plan, heated floors throughout. And I love the floor. The, everything really, really blends so well in this coach. Take a look at the pictures. This is something we don't usually concentrate on on Marathon Mondays, but I was so impressed with Santara's pick of decor photos that are put into the walls. All right. Thanks to all of you guys. What do we got? We got several people watching, so that's excellent. I hope we don't lose you here in the middle of the coach because Wi-Fi is weird in the, in the middle. Uh, that's the name of my new album. Take a look at this water closet, you guys. Take your time, John, going through here. Just a beautiful, take a look at that wall covering. I gotta tell you, and Santara knows this, I was on the fence about that wall covering for quite a while until this coach was completed and that's that's the tough thing about looking at a coach, Mal, when it's got a month to go. I, that's me telling myself when it's, in, when it's in production and you don't see it fully realized or fully completed, uh, it can be taken out of context. And that's what I did. And I love this coach now. I love what she did on the wall covering. And when you close off this door right here to the entire uh, ensuite water closet, it it covers it with the water, with the, with the uh, wall covering, so it's really pretty. Now I want you to really take a look at this shower because this is my favorite feature of the coach. It's a large shower. It's got two shower heads. And look at that tile work. There's that same tile. And it's a vertical setup. That we, that's the same tile that we saw on the entry steps. Just beautiful. And it's also on the backsplash of the water closets. Well done. Well done. Let's move this way. All right. Thank you. Everybody say hi to Abigail. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. So I'm going to stand right here. And I want to, uh, before, we, before we close today's show, thank you so much for dealing with our issues you guys this morning but um one of the things i was thinking about this morning as i was coming in and looking at this coach and and getting ready to do um getting ready to do the show i was thinking a lot about the people that uh, build these coaches and all the people at marathon uh from 
uh, the people on the production floor to all the people in the, in the paint team, uh, the designers, <clears throat> the engineers that build it, uh, the marketing team, which two of them are with me right now. Um, there's a lot of hands that go in to building uh, this coach. And it's, uh, there's a lot of Oregonians. Uh, this is an Oregonian product and I'm a proud Oregonian. I live, I, I'm from Portland originally and I live in Eugene and have for 20 years. And if you don't know Eugene and Coburg, where these coaches are built, they're about five minutes away from each other. And so, uh, you know, it's something that I don't want to take lightly. And I know we've done, I don't know, three years of this show, four years of this show. And uh, it, it's, it's something that I want to keep in mind. Every time I do this show, I know that I'm representing everybody that builds these coaches, sell the, sells these coaches, markets these coaches, uh, keeps these coaches maintained. Our service departments um, from Florida, Texas, and here in Oregon, everybody comes together to keep these coaches as beautiful as this. So uh, it was just something that w really hit me, and I wanted to make sure that I said something this morning because it's uh, something that I don't want to take lightly, as I said before. And a big thanks to Santara Perkins. She is, of the three uh, in our design team, Alan Christensen, Brenda Kraft, and Santara, she is the youngest member, meaning that uh, her tenure up there is shorter than Brenda's and of course Alan's. But uh, this is amazing. I don't think there's any denying that Santara has uh, shown us what she's capable of and it's absolutely stunning. So she should be proud of it and the Marathon staff uh, who built it should be proud of it. And it really, really is uh, one of those beautiful coaches. No doubt it's going to sell quite quick. M-A-L-W at MarathonCoach.com. That's Mal W. Uh, be yourself and do good things. That's what I'm trying to do every time I wake up in the morning. I don't always hit it on the head, but I always have another nail to put in if I don't hit it on the head. Take care. We'll see you soon next Monday. We got some special stuff next Monday, too. We got special stuff every Monday. That's how I keep you coming back, especially when the Wi-Fi goes whack. <laughs> See you guys next Monday.